that is my beautiful and amazing wife, Bush Hagen. She doesn't like to be on camera, so she always hides her face. I don't know why she is. She is something, something to look at. Guys, welcome back to Survivopedia. My name is Jason Salyer, and this here in front of me is a water hemlock. It is an extremely poisonous plant. If I was gonna eat this thing, if I decided to eat just this handful of leaves right here that I'm touching, it would kill me. I would eventually not be able to breathe. My muscles would shut down, my diaphragm would stop working, and I would asphyxiate to death, which sounds pretty unpleasant in my opinion. The problem is, is that this plant right here, the flowers on it look very similar to a couple other different kinds of flowers. One of them is also extremely poisonous, called a poison hemlock. Looks very, very similar to that. Um, it's got a purplish kind of stem, looks a little more splotchy than this one. This one's kind of smooth and, uh, you know, straight line, purple lines on it. Um, no hairs on it whatsoever. And poison hemlock looks very, very similar, just a little bit more splotchy uh, stem. Flower looks almost the same, um, but there is a there is a another plant that looks very very similar, and it is a wild carrot. So let's go find some wild carrot. There's some. That, my friends, is wild carrot, also known as Queen Anne's Lace. And you can see the similarity, right? This flower looks very similar to that water hemlock, looks very similar to a poison hemlock, um, but this one will not kill you. You pull the root out of the ground and you can eat it. It's a carrot, a wild carrot. One of the bit differences, two of the main differences, is Queen Anne's Lace on the flower has this purpley, uh, flower in the center just one small purple spot in the middle and it also has a fuzzy stem see those hairs all along the stem and it said one way to remember that is that Queen Anne did not shave her legs so the good one Queen Anne's lace has hairy legs another quick tip guys what we're looking for some Queen Anne's lace is when you're Walking through tall grass like this or just anywhere outside and it's tick season, if you wear light colored pants, it's much easier to identify the tick that's on your pants before it gets attached to you. So light colored pants are a good idea in tick infested areas. I hate ticks. There we go. So the root is a wild carrot. Scratch it. Give it the scratch and sniff. Yeah, smells, smells like a carrot. You could eat this. No problem at all. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the poison hemlock next to a wild carrot. Now they are in the same family and that's why they, they kind of have uh, some similarities, some, some resemblance there, you can see it. Ticks are the worst. I cannot stand them. Queen Anne's Lace, the one on the right, has these little deals on the bottom of the flower. I'm not exactly sure what those are called. They have a name, I am certain, but this one does not have that. Here's another plant that has a look-alike. This is called Virginia Creeper, and it's this vine that grows on the trunks of trees like this one, and it looks very, very similar to poison ivy. It has one, two, three, four, five leaves, and the vine is not hairy and fuzzy right next to it is poison ivy right leaves of three let it be they're a little bit shiny see how the leaves are a little bit shiny um and the um as the vine matures it generally will start to get fuzzy i'll show you a bigger one here in just a second something's eating it right something likes poison ivy i think deer actually eat poison ivy too but you can see the stem on this is got these hairy tendrils coming off of it. That's a dead giveaway that if I was to cut into that, rub it all over my skin. I'm not, I'm not very sensitive to poison ivy. Luckily I, I've been blessed and I don't, doesn't really affect me too much. Poison oak does, but poison ivy does not. But some people are super sensitive to it. So make sure you can easily identify it and, and avoid it if, if that's you. She still smells like a skunk. She got sprayed a long time ago. Weeks and weeks ago, she still stinks a little bit. 
wife's bush hogging in the background. I tell her to stay off that tractor, but she just can't resist herself. The thing is super dangerous if you don't, you don't pay, pay attention. It's a, uh, a Ford 8N, 19, 1948 Ford 8N, and that thing will kill you <laughs> if you're not paying attention. The tractor alone will kill you, let alone having a giant, huge steel blade spinning around at, at a high velocity. You gotta really pay attention on that thing. Anyway, um, I hope you guys uh, are not discouraged from, oh, <laughs> just chopping gravels, no big deal. I don't want to discourage you from doing that because there's a whole war. I mean, this is like an endless study. You could, you could research and study and investigate and explore all the various useful plants out there and it would take you a lifetime. I mean, it's just, it, it's forever long. Um, but you need to be very, very cautious because like that poison hemlock, that thing will, it will literally kill you if you do not pay attention and you should accidentally ingest even just a tiny little bit of it. So I want you to be very cautious. I want you to be careful, but I, I, I want to encourage you to learn your wild edible medicinal plants, their properties, their values, and how to use them. But anyway, I really do appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already. And Maggie and I, Maggie, Maggie, Maggie and I will look forward to seeing you on the next one.